everyone, Ink here. So I feel like Alpha Noe has been getting so much attention uh, as being the, the quote unquote chase unit of the banner. And I feel like people might be missing out on how amazing Ida is. Maybe they pulled her along the way and are wondering uh, how she does and all. Uh, so I figured I'd do a quick, uh, quick explainer video. I pulled uh, Alfie pretty fast, actually. Uh, I got very lucky, uh, but I actually, I wanted Ida. Uh, I love punching things as hard as possible, and that is what she does. Uh, she is a melee damage de dealing unit with a fast charging EX. She is a brave and HP spam uh, machine. So uh, she uses her skills uh, when, when she needs to keep her buffs up or, or with her skill to apply debuffs with touch of death. Uh, we'll get into all of that later. Uh, she works very well with tanks because whenever enemy, the enemy she's hitting is not targeting her, she has a guaranteed crit, uh, crit hit, which is, uh, which is amazing. It fuels her extremely high uh, damage output uh, as, a, as a damage dealer. Uh, I'm going to bring Setzer because FF6 and because no one else is going to submit a Setzer run for this because the last wave resists ranged. Uh, heavily, but uh, yeah, I, I don't care because <laughs> uh, Ida is going to deal so much damage that it doesn't matter. I'll bring a Leo friend. This is uh, more for uh, uh, Spirit. Uh, I do not think that I will need a friend unit for this because of how much ridiculous damage she does. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, we will open with HP+, plus, which immediately gives us a free turn. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the nine turns of Poison and Sap, uh, which, is, uh, which is excellent. She's being targeted by everyone right now. So let me get this guy off her first. I'm going to push back. Uh, Setzer can use his red cards freely here because they are resisted in the next in the next wave. Um, so, yep, yeah, she can go ahead and HP plus this guy and get another free turn. Now, you can't get two free turns back to back. Uh, I could use her AA right here and get another free turn um, if, I, uh, if I wanted to, but yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna use Snap Punch uh, plus, which is fine. Her HP and Brave attacks enable Snap Punch plus one use of it. It's a little bit more overflow, uh, which is uh, which is nice, but otherwise is uh, is fine. Let's get this guy off of uh, off of uh, Setzer, and no problems uh, no problems here. I'm going to use another red card. Let's get his EX up so that he can start battering everybody. And yep, so e the, these are really important here, right? So I can HP plus here, even though I had my EX charged, I get an immediate free turn. And now I can tornado kick and deal insane amounts of damage. And this has nothing, <laughs> amazingly, nothing to do with synergy. <laughs> uh, she can deal that on a balanced team. This team has low auras. It's got 30% from Ifrit, 30% from sets her and uh 40 from zach so it's got 100 which certainly is uh is not not bad um but uh yeah all right got sets her zx so no free turn for ida coming up here but that's uh that's okay uh completely fine she can just dump on her ex grease lightning gives her 20 percent brave gains across her kit that's a little icon above her head, but here's the thing. For whatever reason, the way they coded it, uh, the way that Square Enix coded it, uh, it just doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter whether you have a stack or not. <laughs> so yeah, uh, really doesn't, doesn't matter, uh, doesn't matter too much at all. Um, I'll go ahead and use another Snap Punch here. You want to keep in mind Snap Punch is driving, uh, her, it, it's her way of getting Grease Lightning, which sure is uh, is great, uh, but it's also on this team the only way for her to buff herself. So she has no way actually to uh, to buff herself otherwise. Um, let's keep Max Brave up. Uh, so 
I don't want to overuse Snap Punch because then she wouldn't be able to buff herself. And when she's buffed, she gets her upgraded uh, Brave and uh, HP uh, attacks, which is what grants her her free turns. So you do want to keep uh, keep an eye on that. All right. So this is totally, totally fine. I expect that an EX is up because it charges after one ability use. And let's go to wave two, shall we? So uh, Ida's HP plus is only two hits. So you, and the potency on it is good, especially, I mean, it's, it's fine, but it's only two hits. The brave plus potency is a little low, I believe. So you do have to be, uh, you have to be careful um, of that. Uh, so yeah, with uh, <laughs> Setzer, uh, he's heavily resisted. He just dealt 49, 49 damage. Uh, let's go ahead and chunk through these guys. Um, get through all this brave. Uh, that is probably not enough for Ida to get a free turn off of uh, off of an attack. So I'm gonna touch of death and just get that poison and sap uh, flowing, and we'll we'll give it a shot. Uh, all right, she got it. Nice, uh, great. So we got rid of that annoying brave damage reduction. And now she can go right into Tornado Kick and deal that glorious damage. And this is why we can take a utility unit like Setzer that's not going to deal much damage here. Because Ida just, I mean, she absolutely tears them apart limb from limb, uh, which is so much fun. Um, but like I was saying, her uh, HP plus, you have to be careful if you need it for shaving. Um, you, may, uh, you may have some trouble. Uh, with uh, with shaving with just two hits on her HP plus, that's where you might want to use Snap Punch if you uh, if you need it. Um, you can see how much I'm spamming her her HP pluses at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and apply Touch of Death on this guy now, and he's doing an all attack, so I will be freezing here uh, in uh, in just a uh, a moment. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use Rush Assault. It's fine. We'll try and not take any damage uh, whatsoever from this run. But the HP requirement is pretty pretty lax on it because they deal they do deal a lot of uh, HP damage. So you can see Tornado Kick normal, uh, not a big deal. Still maxing all of my uh, all of my damage, which is uh, which is great. So they're gonna get their Brave damage aura reduction aura up. Uh, in just a moment, um, so I'm going to freeze here with Setzer. Uh, the team's going to take a little bit of damage from A, probably about uh, 900 or so uh, each. Oh, actually, no, nope. because of Ida's poison, that goes away, and he's frozen now, so nothing happening there. She gets a free turn here. I mean, you could just see how much damage she chains. Uh, together, I am going to use Snap Punch Plus here because otherwise her buffs are going to fall off. So now's a uh, a good time for that. Also, against all attacks, she won't get her guaranteed crits for whatever that's worth. You, if it, enemies have a lot of all attacks, you have to be uh, be aware of that. Yeah. So unfortunately, they're frozen. Um, so uh, I can't break them <laughs> until they come out of it. There we go. Um, uh, yeah, I think, uh, I'll get to break A for free, so I'd rather provide a minor battery here, um, 20, 10k battery, that's fine. Um, yeah, just keep, keep buffs on Ida. In terms of who I'd use her with, I would certainly use her with a tank whenever you can. Um, I think that's very worth it uh, to make sure that she's doing it, dealing guaranteed crits. Uh, otherwise, I would support her. Uh, just be aware of pushing off her her buffs. If you do, it's it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, if you uh, if you did push them off, um, just because what's her attack is 60%, max brave is 40, speed is 60. So if you want to. If you feel so inclined to uh, push them off, then you certainly you certainly can. If you're using like Sarah, uh, that's a lot of poison, but 
still you'd get three three poison effects off of that, which is pretty great uh, if you're using her with Sarah. I also think that she's great with Sarah for the sake of uh, Max Brave down. So Sarah's got the most potent Max Brave debuff in the entire game. Uh, and uh, that will keep their Max Brave down so that Ida can shave them more easily. Um, so that's good. And then I also think that she's quite good with uh, with Lena, actually, just because Lena lowers Eye Brave a lot. And so that also means that they recover from break uh, faster, and that is less for Ida to have to shave with her, uh, with her HP plus. So um, yeah, I would certainly take her with the buffers. I, you personally will see me bring her probably in my next run. This was a little bit more limiting because uh, I wanted to use her with a tank, but I do want to use her with Edgar uh, from FF6 because he is a max brave debuffer and they stack their, their sap. So you get three sap and poison uh, effects, which I think is awesome. Uh, but yeah, using her with other debuffers is certainly good. She doesn't necessarily benefit from them any other way. Otherwise, I would just give her auras. Um, those are perfectly good. These guys are frozen, so no worries here. Let's go ahead and prismatic flash. Her, her poison controls bosses extremely, extremely well, uh, which is uh, which is great. Okay, thanks, buddy. Uh, yeah, let's uh, just go ahead and rush assault here. Zach with boards is great. Ida will get her boards at the end of the month. Uh, let me actually pull up. Uh, we are making improvements to the website to allow people to quickly see uh, what, uh, if the, only if our infographic doesn't have the, uh, the character board included, uh, we are adding notes, more detailed notes than the, the minimal summaries we had previous. Sorry, got a call there. That's for the, for the hiccup. Anyway, Ida got her, uh, got her free turn. No real uh, worries here. I'll go ahead and use Snap Punch Plus. Uh, so if you've got a battery with her, the Plus versions are going to be really nice just because they have more overflow. I don't have a huge, not using her with a uh, with a huge uh, battery or anything at the uh, at the moment. So All right, and you can see just how great her poison is against these bosses, uh, specifically. Uh, they are going again, so let's use our last freeze here. And we can use uh, her HP plus here to break. Ooh, she didn't break. Okay, uh, that is that is a-okay. We will uh, crunch through these guys with Zax EX first. They're frozen, so no worries uh, at all here. Uh, we're in no danger of taking any uh, any damage. But you can see that, uh, well, the brave damage reduction is what uh, what fueled that uh, lack of uh, lack of breaking there. The sap is nice, so that she can it helps fuel her HP plus. Her brave gains are great on her skills, uh, so bringing anyone that helps brave gains and has brave gain overflows, I think, is also uh, very nice uh, for her. So sets her out of freezes, so the next time that we have to deal with an all attack, we're going to summon and burn them to the ground. They go down very, very fast with <laughs> with Ida on the team. Dealing 200,000 damage every two to three turns uh, is amazing. And in, I mean, she just dealt 71 there, gets a free turn, and I'll go ahead and snap punch plus again, just spam skills. So that one turn was 130Ks worth of, uh, of damage. Uh, so yeah, may as well use a red card and push this guy back. Setzer doesn't deal much damage, but it doesn't matter. All right, B is going to apply a brave damage uh, reduction on himself. Uh, so, the, 
this seems like a good time to uh, get our summon going. I assume A is going to go into uh, an all attack. Yep. Okay. So Ida can just go ahead and break this guy. Let's use her C65, which grants her uh, attack up. Uh, how much attack is it? Uh, attack plus 30% and max break plus 20%. So certainly worth uh, worth using. Very nice. And actually, I don't need to summon right here. Uh, <laughs> just because she's going to deal 999 on this regardless of whether I summon. So I may as well wait for... <laughs> Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it here so that I can uh, battery uh, a little bit more. Um, but I was saying about her character boards. She'll get her character boards at the end. She basically gets brave damage up on all of her skills. She gets damage overflow on all of her skills. Uh, Touch of death and snap punch. Her base skills both get 20% for both of those. Tornado kick gets 10% for both. Um, she gets crit damage up on her base skills. Her poison and sap effects get. 10% more, which is huge because it means that, like, uh, Ida had, let's say that she has the average max brave of, of about 45k, her sap is going to get bumped to 20% uh, of her 40k, which is probably the, the average max brave that you have on a team. She may be higher. That means she's going to be sapping 8k from, uh, from bosses, which is ridiculous. Uh, very few characters have boosted sap rates at this point. Um, so, yeah. Uh, very, very uh, cool. She also gets 10% more on her attack buff, 10% more on her max brave buff. Uh, she gets uh, uh, attack and damage overflow with Grease Lightning um, as well, um, which, is, uh, which is great. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hog, uh, hog some turns. Let's go ahead and dump here with Ida for <laughs> nines. Get a free turn. Not that it matters inside of the uh, inside of the summon. Uh, and let's uh, go right into a snap punch. And yeah, let's go ahead and rush assault. But yeah, you can see with how fast Ida's EX is, especially if you wanted to use her with like selfie even. Um, that would probably be, uh, pretty good. These guys aren't weak to fire, are they? No. Okay. So my red card will, uh, will do nothing here, but that's, uh, that's fine. I'll shave him a little bit for, <laughs> uh, for Ida to, uh, take care of. Uh, let's go ahead and use one of Zach's C65s. So yeah, and you can see I don't have to use her with supports. Uh, sure, she's great with supports if you want to use her. Yeah, like so I'll, I'll show it here, right? So I can break this guy. I get a free turn. People have been doing this with Aranea forever. Uh, but I can go ahead and use her C65. Uh, and then go ahead and HP plus this guy. <laughs> Deal 63k. Get another free turn. Uh, because I used her previous free turn on her, on her AA. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Just melt that guy. Uh, go ahead and use Setzer. Wow, that was an in that was into a launch. I'm gonna brave plus here, and I got punished. <laughs> uh, okay, this will probably do it, <laughs> but definitely got punished. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, uh, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, my uh, quick explainer of Ida. I don't do these very often because I often need a lot of takes, but um, if you need a melee damage dealer, if you want a fun damage dealer, uh, I think Ida is great for great for you. Um, she's also, uh, her next banner is certainly on uh, Warrior of Light's first weapon, so if you were planning on chasing that, you could wait for it, but then you're basically just going to use her on that event, and then you won't get to use her again. So for anyone that's thinking like, "Ooh, I'm going to wait," um, sure, if you if you want to wait, you uh, you certainly certainly can. Um, that's totally fine. Actually, she's uh, she's on Warrior of Lights, and then she's also synergy on uh, the Divine Diablos as well. So 
There's a bunch of places where you'll be able to use her for challenge quests or for various things when she'll be in synergy and she'll be great. Uh, but I think for certainly for the length of chaos, uh, she will be uh, she'll be great, and I'll try and run her as much as possible. Just uh, embrace the monk. <laughs> The monk, is, uh, if you watch my Sabin video, you can see how much brave damage reduction hurts his ignore, ignore defense. Um, so all these characters that are getting character boards right now, uh, it's actually great because it cancels out uh, the brave damage up that they're getting on their skills. Like Lightning, for example, gets quad nines on most of her hits. Well, when the brave damage reduction hits, uh, the best way to counter the brave damage reduction is to increase your brave damage. Uh, and so all the character boards give really nice improvements to brave damage. So you will notice that characters with character boards will be uh, a little, they will survive a little bit better from the brave damage reduction uh, change that happens, which happens at Squall's Burst, which is expected probably the end of July. Like after the Squex stream for July, they will probably, uh, well, yeah, they will announce first. I don't think they'll delay it. Uh, unless there's uh, some COVID preparedness uh, issue um, with it. But yeah, uh, I do hope you all learned a little bit about uh, about Ida using Ida and just in terms of uh, how to use her, her skills. Um, she really spams her, her HP plus um, quite, quite a lot, um, which is, uh, which is good. The only thing that I probably should have mentioned that I didn't mention is uh, that her brave gains are all based off of attack. So bumping up her attack uh, is great. Like I said, Sarah and Lena, I wouldn't use them together because uh, the Lena does neuter poison, um, but uh, she doesn't bother the sap, the sap value uh, much at all. Um, so uh, yeah, I would certainly bo boost her attack as much as uh, as much as possible, it fuels all all of her many many brave gains throughout, uh, and uh, yeah, have have fun with her. She's she's amazing. I will probably use her to go and stomp Entropy Eleven, uh, which uh, I uh, I think it'll it'll just be a fun showcase of uh, of her capabilities. Maybe I'll maybe I'll record that, but. Anyway, I think she could go up higher in the uh, in the tower if you uh, if you want to use her. I maybe I'll look at her for thirteen. Um, we will uh, we will see. But anyway, enjoy. Uh, this is a lot. Definitely a fun time to play the game. Uh, use your resources wisely, people. So many people complaining they that there was a post on Reddit. Oh, sorry, this is turning into a rant. It's turning into a rant. I don't care. People are posting on Reddit like, I spent 50k and 250 tickets and I didn't get Alpha No EX, I didn't get Eta EX. Well, yeah, it's because you mixed your tickets. Maybe if you didn't mix your, you mix tickets and gems. Maybe if you didn't mix on the banner before it, you could have spent your tickets on somebody, gotten who you wanted, and then you would have had 75k to guarantee the EX you wanted. So please, if you want to mix, totally fine. And also, I never... Judge JP, I think that's a different game. If you mix in JP, power to you. I don't even want to play. Uh, I think that it is incredibly hard uh, without foresight to uh, to play JP. So if you want to mix your stuff there, I am all for it. I I am a supporter of it. If you want to do that, I don't pretend to know that version of the game and playing without foresight. But in GL. Don't mix your stuff. You're just lowering your odds for getting the weapons that you want. And you're also introducing an unhealthy lifestyle upon yourself by getting upset. You're gambling on every banner. And there's ways of minimizing your risk. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Rant is over. I hope you all learned a little bit about Ida. And uh, yeah, good luck with uh, good luck with um, your pulls if you're doing them. And uh yeah, I hope anyone that is chasing Kais learns how to use him uh, properly. Their infographics will be out uh, will be out in uh, in just a bit. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Respect each other. Be healthy.